What's up, YouTube? <clears throat> My name is Trevor Primus, and now, well, as you can see, I'm not playing a horror game. I'm playing a game called Getting Over It with Bat Foddy. So, I don't know how many videos I'm going to make of this game. It's kind of like a rage game. But, you know what? We're just going to try it. We're just going to play it. Oh. I'm going to start a new game. And we're just going to just gonna try it. We're just going to have fun. Oh, wow. I will use my hammer for good, just like Thor. <coughs> Maybe. So I gotta get better at mouse controls. <laughs> yep, I gotta get very much better at mouse controls. Ah. So he sinks there for a minute. What is my mouse doing? What is going on with my mouse? There's no feeling more intense than starting over. Nailed it. If you deleted your homework the day before it was due, as I have, or if you left your wallet at home and you have to go back after spending an hour in the commute, if you won some money at the casino and then put all your winnings on red but it came up black, if you got your best shirt dry cleaned before a wedding and then immediately dropped food on it, if you won an argument with a friend and then later discovered that they just returned to their original view. Starting over is harder than... Okay, hold on. I need to decrease mouse sensitivity a lot because this is bad. It's starting up. If you're not ready for that, like if you've already had a bad day, there then what go. you're about to go through might be too much. Feel free to go away and come back. I'll be here. Alright, thanks for coming with me on this trip. I'll understand if you have to take a break at any point. Just find a safe place to stop and quit the game. And don't worry, I'll save your progress, always. Even your mistakes. D no! This game is a homage to a free game that came out in 2002, titled Sexy Hiking. The author of that game was Jazuo, a mysterious Czech designer who was known at the time as the father of B games. And B games Whoa. are rough assemblages of found objects. Designers slap them together very quickly and freely, and they're often too rough and unfriendly to gain much of a following. They're built more for the joy of building them than as polished products. In a certain way, Sexy Hiking is the perfect embodiment of a B game. It's built almost entirely out of found and recycled parts, and it's one of the most unusual and unfriendly games of its time. In it, your task is simply to drag yourself up a mountain with a hammer. And that act of climbing, in the digital world or in real life, has certain essential properties that give the game its flavor. No amount of forward progress is guaranteed. Some cliffs are too sheer or too slippery. And the player is constantly, unremittingly, in danger of falling and losing everything. Can you shut up? <laughs> anyway, when you start sexy hiking, you're standing next to this dead tree that blocks the way to the entire rest of the game. It might take you an hour to get over that tree, and a lot of people never got past it. You prod and you poke at it, exploring the limits of your reach and your strength, trying to find a way up and over. And there's a sense of truth in that lack of compromise. Most obstacles in video game worlds are fake. You can be completely confident in your ability to get through them, once you have the correct method, or the correct equipment, or just by spending enough time. In that sense, every pixelated obstacle in sexy hiking is real. The obstacles in sexy hiking are unyielding, Can you and that makes the game uniquely frustrating. But I'm not sure Jazuo intended to make a frustrating game. The frustration is just essential to the act of climbing, and it's authentic to the process of building a game about climbing. A funny thing happened to me as I was building this mountain. I'd have an idea for a new obstacle, and I'd build it, test it, and it would usually turn out to be unreasonably hard. 
no! but I couldn't bring myself to make it easier. It already felt like my inability to get past a new obstacle was my fault as a player rather than as a builder. Imaginary mountains build themselves from our efforts to climb them. And it's our repeated attempts to reach the summit that turns those mountains into something real. Oh. Are you done talking now? Jesus. What? What? I thought my voice was annoying as hell. This dude puts me to shame. What? what? Yeet. Yeet. What? Yeet. Oh wow. Oh, I, I thought it was. No! no! You just lost a lot of progress. That's a deep frustration, a real punch in the gut. If you need to take a break, it's okay. I've saved your progress. Oh, 
Onto the map. Gentle. Whoop. Yes! That was an accomplishment. Oh no, bro. I remember this part. When you're building a video game world, you're building what with ideas. And that can be like working with quickset cement. You mold your ideas into a certain shape that can be played with. And in the process of playing with them, they begin to harden and set until they're immutable, like rock. And at that point, you can't change the world. Not without breaking it into pieces and starting fresh with new ideas. You all done now, buddy? <laughs> Whoa! Mm. Nailed it! Oh my god! For years now, people have been predicting that games would soon be made out of prefabricated objects, bought in a store and assembled into a world. And for the most part that hasn't happened, because the objects in the stores are trash. I don't mean they look bad or that they're badly made, although a lot of them are. I mean they're trash in the way that food becomes trash as soon as you put it in the sink. Things are made to be consumed and used in a certain context, and once the moment is gone, they transform into garbage. In the context of technology, those moments pass by in seconds. Over time, we've poured more and more refuse into this vast digital landfill that we call the internet. It now vastly outnumbers and outweighs the things that are fresh and untainted and unused. When everything around us is cultural trash, trash becomes the new medium, the lingua franca of the digital age. And you can build culture out of trash, but only trash culture, B games, B movies, B music, B philosophy. The B movie? Yeah, I guess I was trash. A lot. Maybe this is what digital culture is. A monstrous mountain of trash, the ash heap of creativity's fountain. A landfill with everything we ever thought of in it. Grand, infinite, and unsorted. Whoa, that was close. There's 3D models of breakfast. Gen X's fanfic novels, Scan magazines, green screen Shia LaBeouf, banned stuff scenes on LiveLeak, Facebook's got lifelike bots with unbranded adverts and candid shots of Kanye and Taylor Swift mashups, car crash epic failed GIFs, Russian dashcam vids, discussions of McRibs, discarded, forgotten, unrecycled, muddled, rotten, untitled. Everything's fresh for about six seconds, until some newer thing beckons and we hit refresh. And there's years of persevering, disappearing into the pile, out of style, out of sight. In this context, it's tempting to make friendly content that's gentle, that lets you churn through it but not earn it. Why make something demanding if it just gets piled up in the landfill, filed in with the bland things? The zoo could be a wrap. Okay. Just his rhyming mastery. This dude can be a rapper. Oh, what a body. Whoa! What are you doing? 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 Stop! <laughs> I feel like I'm playing a whammy. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Stop! Stop! Come on, big bucks, big bucks, no whammy, 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 no
have enough upper arm strength to get over it that way? We will see. What? I do! Ha 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 ha! Don't you dare fall back down. I'm gonna take a drink. Give me a second. If I remember right, this part you have to get just right. Or... What? <laughs> Whoa! Everything just needs to calm down. A French man, my way over here. What? Oh, it happened no! again. Keep on trying, don't let it get to you. Oh, thank God. I thought I was so screwed. I was like... What? I was like, what in the hell? What? How is it... Oh. <clears throat> Whee! I thought I was so screwed, man. I thought I was in so much trouble. What? Can you not just be a helicopter for 10 minutes? What? What? That was the wrong idea. This thing that we call failure is not the falling down, but the staying down. Mary Pickford. <laughs> Yeah. 
The soul would have no rainbow had the eyes no tears. John Vance Cheney. Whoever you are, shut the fuck up, man! What the hell? Why would you send me back to the beginning? Mm. I almost made this mm. one up. Bye.